Hi everybody, Gary Moore here at the NAM convention in Anaheim, and what a great day it's been. We've got some pretty cool guys here to talk about a really very special event. It's the Rock and Roll Autograph Show, and it's coming to the uh, LAX Hilton. It's March the 15th, 16th, and 17th. Now to my immediate left is a guy named Lon Friend, who a lot of you guys may already know via a ton of stuff, including which magazine? In the 80s and 90s, we ran a what called the Bible of Bang, Rip Magazine. Rip Magazine. Put Guns N' Roses on their first cover. Exactly. Covered the making of the Black Metallica record exclusively. Seen some stuff, heard some stuff. <laughs> Happy to still be here alive and I was say, You lived through it all. <laughs> yes. And then, and plus, you, a couple of books along the way as well. Written two memoirs, Life on Planet Rock, forward by Lars Ulrich, thank you, before he did started doing acting. Did you see him in the Greek, get him to the Greek? I tried not to. He's, he's, he really should stick to drumming. Yeah. As, as, as an actor, <laughs> he's a great drummer. He's but he's, a, he's also, a, he stays a friend, and he did that for me. Right. And I wrote a book called Sweet Demotion, uh, inspired by my time uh, in Sunapee, New Hampshire, helping Steven Tyler work on his memoir just before he went into rehab. And many of those stories are fictional because there, there's no way that that could be used against you in a court of law at some point, right? That's right. It's, it's not, not evidence per se. These are all things that kind of maybe could have happened. I'm just dropping names. They're not real people. <laughs> now, what part do you play in this autograph show? And tell me who we have here with us. Okay. <clears throat> we have Corky Breyer here, who is the king. He, it's, his, it's his gig. He's from Maui. He's a collector. He's got some of the sickest memorabilia that God ever created, like... A backstage pass from the Beatles at the Sullivan show, February 9th. You have that? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cor and then we have the great Billy Hinchy, who is the Dino Desi and Billy Billy, a beach boy for decades. Who was on the Ed Sullivan show, correct? Correct. 1965, Dino Desi and Billy. You're absolutely right. On reprise right. records and tapes. Good call. Signed by Frank Sinatra himself after our audition for him. Do you audition personally for him? Yes, was, we you, did. Where did you do that? Where was that? It was at Dean Martin's house, down on, at the off bar. Off Sunset? Wait, was that on the one Mountain off Sunset? Drive. There they sat, old blue eyes and old red eyes. I'll never forget it. <laughs> and, yeah, we did a couple of songs. I'm sure we were perfectly awful in their eyes and ears, but they were very respectful and polite, and they sat through it, and they got up, and Mr. Sinatra came over and very politely said, How'd you boys like a contract with my label? Gee, Reprise. that'd be swell, Mr. Sinatra. <laughs> Can't we? Exactly. Swell. Yeah, it's the word. In that use. voice, too, because <laughs> we were 13. So, yeah. Everybody knows Dino and Desi and Billy. That's, that's the cool something? thing about it. And right there, look, one of the triumvirate is here. Thank and you're going to be at the show, too, right? I am. I'm the, actually the talent coordinator for this whole thing. Lon and I are working together to cover, I call it, this whole spectrum of music. And I, I like to think, in particular, L.A., because the show's in L.A. It's sort of like the groups and the artists that built the city, if you will. Uh, it's serendipitous, Gary, how we came together, because Corky sort of, he created this trinity. So I'm like, well, we need rock guys. And I said, yeah, I know a few of those. <laughs> so I said, come out to Nam. Billy's got, you know, icons from the you know, monkeys and set up. And, and I said, well, I think I could introduce you to a few kind of guys who get long lines at NAMM when so they sign autographs. So what's going to happen is you go out to the Hilton, the, the uh, uh, LAX Hilton on Century Boulevard. Uh, this is May, uh, March, March 15th, 16th, and 17th, and you can bring whatever memorabilia that you have, right? And, and there will also be some there, too. I guess You're you can welcome sign, to but bring whatever you have, whatever you want, but we'll also, the artists will also have their own items that they, maybe if they wrote a book or a new CD or something like that, or there will be 8 by 10 headshots or action shots that they can sign and be given to the fans. Of course, there's a fee to all of this, but, and if you are coming from New York for some reason, you don't want to carry a guitar in the plane, that, there will be articles there that you can purchase, get signed by everybody, and have a, a great collectible. Also, to put a finer point on, on it, Friday the 15th is for vendors, open, free to the public and everything. But 15 and six, uh, 16 and 17, Saturday, Sunday, is when the artists will be there. Oh, I see. And that's really going to be the big hit for and all And we'll, we'll get to the charity angle in just a second. But tell me, who are some of the people that we can name drop now who are going to be there? Or can we? <laughs> you well, can't. Wait. Can we? Oh, we can. Okay. We've got about 50 names that are, yeah. like, cool. Strong. 
very Stru strong. Very oh, strong. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, if you say they're strong, we're gonna be having a press I do say they're oh, okay. strong okay. because okay. this convention was to me a, an event to just get face to face with a lot of people who I have great history with, whose careers were part of you know a lot of part of Rip Magazine back in the 80s and 90s, right. and are still so formidable here at the convention, and and then. Uh, Billy's people, so we want to cover like from the 50s to the current to have a real eclectic mix of folks. What and I, What I can tell yeah. you as far as a little sneak is that for the VIP after party for uh, Saturday night, there is going to be live music by some very iconic people. So you don't want to miss that. See, if you love rock and roll, if you have some uh, memorabilia, and you'll be hearing more about it on KLOS anyway, but just go through your records and go through your t-shirts and go through whatever things that you have and look and see what you've got be able to bring those you know photographs you know some old vinyl uh, album covers whatever you know gary you brought that up i, I ran into mike clink in the hallway oh did you and i've known him since I tell him who the, mike clink is well he 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 produced all the guns and roses records right. including the venerable appetite for destruction exactly so i said clink i'm doing this autograph show he goes yeah I, i've heard about autograph shows i go no no this is different this is a kid from back east bringing his original vinyl to L.A. to have you sign it. And it's like George Martin signing Meet the Beatles. And he goes, is there a charity angle? I go, yeah. He goes, will you pitch me on that proper? I go, yeah. Tell us about That's the charity. It. Tell us about the charity. The charity is we've hitched our wagon to St. Jude's. St. Jude's uh, in uh, Memphis, Children's yeah. Church facility as well as MOC, which is Musicians on Call, uh, who go to various hospitals around the country and play for terminally ill patients. But it's, um, yeah, children, uh, cancer, uh, terminal. Uh, it's just it's just time to pay back. It's time to pay it forward for everybody, for right. the fans, for the artists, for me, for my fantastic staff, for everybody. It's just time. And uh, I can't think of a better uh, organization to be a part of than St. Jude's, wow. which is great. Well, we're glad to be partnering with you on this. And I'll definitely see you all there. I know you've got a ton of connections that are going to be there, right? And yeah. you're going to be signing some of your stuff, too, as well, right? Uh, I'm going to have both my books. And KLOS is in both of my books. And It's a great history. different it, context. If, if you love the L.A. music scene yeah, I grew and up just here, rock man. and roll in general, Born and raised. both of Lon's books are must-have and must-owns. And that's, that's no promotional kind of hype. That's just the way it is. When you start reading the first chapter, you'll be finished by that night. It's that good. And I'll be there with my little table. And all my buddies from the classic rock era will be there. Exactly. It's going to be great. We're looking forward to it. A lot of, a lot of the people that have lines here at NAM to get signatures right. will also be there. That's very so cool. And there's been some great folks here be, at NAM. It's going to be a hell of a party. Yeah. It's going to be a party. It's going to be an event. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of vendors. And it's the rock culture joining together because yeah. there's a community yeah. about rock and roll. Keeps yeah, people feel. Music. It's a tribal thing. It always has been. And you want to be with your own. And you want to share stuff. And that's the cool vibe about it. We will see you all there. Thank you for Thanks, coming Gary. by. Thank you, Gary. Really appreciate this. Thanks Thank for you. watching at 955klos.com. Peace.